Hi everyone, I uh, hope that you're having a good day wherever you are in the world and today here at Disc Golf Valley we're going to take a look at Highlander Ridge. No, we're actually going to three star it. It's a three star run video. We've already done our practice run and if you haven't seen that video it's uh, on our channel. Go check it out if you're interested to uh, discover some lines that might help you along your way to get a three star. But today we're going to actually do it. Uh, challenge the Valley and go to Highlander Ridge. All right, this first hole, I usually go for a 10 speed here, and the PD that we have in our bag is a good one of choice for this hole because of the roll attribute. It's helpful to not go skipping off into the, the ridge somewhere and uh, just kind of lay up for your basket and a nice easy putt to go in. Now notice you are going downhill here so don't uh, pull it back all the way and it's a fairly easy birdie. Next hole a little bit more challenging there's a mando here but the 10 speed is the disc of choice here. I usually slide over so I can open up the gap there a little bit and uh, put a little bit of an Anheuser on this so that it does go off to the left but then swings around to hit this bank down here and come back to the basket for a nice tap in. That's what we like to see on hole number two. Now this particular hole, um, your goal is to get across a little brook here. We'll use the Zeus, that's the best chance we have of doing that. We'll use the backhand instead of the recommended forehand. Uh, when I'm playing multiplayer, I see a lot of guys, I shouldn't say guys, a lot of players uh, going off with a backhand around uh, to the left of those trees. But I find when I do that, I usually end up in the, in the lake. Here's what I usually do. Just have it come around, come around, and up the bank. And our second hole, just usually use the fuse here, bring it up, and up and over, lay up to that basket nicely, and just toss it in. Next hole. All right, uh, what I usually use on this hole is the... Uh, Windbreak Rive Roll. And just put my pointer somewhere around there. Put a little bit of a hyzer on that. And let it come around. And uh, just be, well, right behind the wall. I don't think that's going to be a problem though. And from here, the uh, in this wind, uh, the 10 speed should make it. And off we go to hole number five. All right, nice three win to work with here. Well, that might actually work to our advantage here because we want to come around and uh, bounce up the hill around the corner there. But we've got to play it right, otherwise we're going to end up caught behind some fortress wall here. I think I'm going to go over here and put quite a bit of an, an Anheuser on this. That's kind of like what we're looking for. But now as we go for this basket, we are working with that wind. So that uh, complicates everything. usually pull down just a little bit more than normal because on this particular hole elevation matters. Yeah, we missed it. But we still get our birdie and that's all we really need. 
next hole. Here we want to switch to forehand. The PD is the disc of choice here. And I even put just a little bit of an Anheuser on that to let it swing around. To approach the basket for a tap-in. And this hole in that wind, I think I'll just go with the PD. In our practice run, we were finding that the grace was actually a little better, but we weren't working with a wind like this. Um, it's hopefully lands and stays in. Yeah. And we're working with 12 meters to the basket, so the three speed wind isn't going to uh, affect the, the flight of the disc that much. Normally we'd bring it down just a little bit lower. But I think uh, if you bring it down too low and 12 meters isn't enough to lift the disc up, then you hit the bottom rim. All right, seven holes down, two to go for our three stars. And let's grab our Zeus and uh, put quite a bit of an Anheuser on that and just let it swing around and hopefully doesn't hit a wall or a rock. Okay, well that actually helped us. And uh, here we are. Yeah, fairly good uh, distance to the basket there. Now it would be quite tempting to just go for your eagle here. Unfortunately there's not much of a backstop after that uh, basket. And so we're just going to lay up I think and uh, have an easy toss in for our birdie. Play it safe when you're going for your three-star run. There might be times when you want to just run that basket. All right, one last hole. Can we do it? This is probably the most difficult hole. We'll grab our PD here. And in this wind, we'll bring it over a little bit. And a uh, little bit of uh, action on that. And hopefully it doesn't go off the ridge. <laughs> okay, good. We're in good standing there for our last throw in for our three stars all right well that's good let's uh finish up here and see what kind of disc rewards we get for three starring highlanders ridge boom 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 Right, okay, yes, this is actually some new plastic uh, at Disc Golf Valley. These discs haven't been around that long. And uh, we're seeing them at this point in our uh, ch course challenges because this is actually a fairly new course. Uh, it's just been placed where it is in the lineup uh, as finding an appropriate skill level. So... Uh, I've never actually worked with these discs before, so I can't comment on them, but they I think uh, I've read how others are using them and uh, being quite happy with them. So maybe you want to give them a try. I just don't want to take the time to learn new lines and and uh, pullbacks and how they fly in different winds. I just don't want to learn that all over again with new discs. I'm comfortable with the discs that I'm used to working with. All right, well, I believe that that does it for our three-star run. I hope you uh, were able to pick up a few tips, and uh, if you found it helpful, go ahead and give the video a like. And if you haven't already done so, I invite you to subscribe, and we'll catch you next time here at Disc Golf Valley Tips and Tricks. So long for today.